Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to solve multi-step linear inequalities. Feel free to visit our website at math.serve.com for access to a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. Let's take a look at question number one. The instructions are to solve each inequality and graph the solution, okay, and graph the solution. All right, problem number one, we have four times the quantity 1 minus 7p less than or equal to 200. So what's the difference between an equation and an inequality? When you're solving an equation and solving an inequality, the steps are very, very identical. The only difference is that whenever you multiply or divide by negative, the inequality flips its orientation. So less than becomes greater and greater than becomes less. Other than that, um, the steps are very identical. Um, when you're solving a linear equation, your goal is to isolate the variable. That's exactly the same objective when solving a linear inequality. So our goal here is to isolate P. Now, um, to accomplish that, we'll try to make the inequality look as simple as possible, okay? So if you have any radicals, any squares, square roots or parentheses, you wanna eliminate those things so that you have a simpler problem to solve. Okay, so in this situation, this parenthesis kind of complicates things. So how do we eliminate it? We'll simply distribute. Distribute 4 to these two numbers in the parenthesis, positive 1 and negative 7p. So if we distribute, we'll have positive 4 minus 28p, 4 times 7 is 28, less than or equal to 200. Now, to isolate p, we can accomplish this in two processes, in two steps. We will first of all get rid of the positive 4 and then the negative 28. So get rid of the positive 4. We will um, subtract 4 from both sides. That yields negative 28p is less than or equal to 196. So finally, isolate p. We'll divide both sides by negative 28. And then we'll have P. And here, if you divide 196 by negative 28, you end up with negative 7. Remember, when you divide two numbers of different signs, you always end up with a negative. Okay? And then 28 goes into 196 seven times. Now... How do we um, know what the inequality is? What is the inequality? Remember, anytime you divide by a negative, you reverse the order of the inequality. So less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to. Okay? So if you are wondering how did I get negative 7, well, if you remember your squares, 14 square is 196, and 14 goes into 28 also. So 14 goes into 28, 
um, twice, and 14 goes into 196 14 times. Two goes here one, two goes here seven, so you have um, negative seven, all right? So this right here is your solution. Are we done with the problem? The answer is no, we're asked to graph. All right, so let's go ahead and graph this linear inequality. This linear inequality is seven, negative seven, and everything greater than it, okay? So let's say this is zero, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a closed circle here, and the direction is greater Greater is to the right. Okay, so there goes your solution right there. And let's label it. This is P is greater than or equal to negative 7. Remember that this line right here means that negative 7 is included in the solution region. If we didn't have a line in the underneath the linear in underneath the inequality symbol, then our um, circle here will be an open circle. All right, let's take a look at question number two. For question two, we're to solve the linear inequality, negative four times eight x plus three minus six less than negative 114. Okay, now to solve this linear inequality, we want to make it look less complicated. All right, so this um, parenthesis is complicating things. So how about we get rid of that um, by distributing negative four to these two terms inside the parenthesis. Now you have to be really careful when distributing a negative number because it causes the sign of any number it multiplies um, with to change. Okay, so we have negative 4 times positive 8x yields negative 32x. Negative 4 times positive 3 yields negative 12. Minus 6 less than negative 114. Now, it looks less complicated. Now, after distributing, the next question we're going to ask ourselves is, can any like terms be combined? Are there any like terms that we can combine? The answer is yes. Negative 12 and negative 6 are both constants, so they can be combined. So that gives us negative 32x. Now, when you're combining numbers, if the numbers have the same sign, that means you add and keep the sign, right? So negative 16 minus 6, you add the two numbers, you get 18, and the sign will be negative. So we have negative 18 less than negative, negative 114. All right, now to get x isolated is a two-step process. We'll add 18 to both sides and then divide by negative 32. That will isolate x for us. So let's go ahead and add 18 to both sides. That yields negative 32x is less than negative 96. Now we'll divide both sides by negative 32 to get x isolated so we can arrive at the final result. Now, if we divide both sides, we have x, and then 32 goes into 96 three times. Minus over minus is plus. Remember, anytime you divide two numbers with the same sign, you with the same sign, you end up with a positive result. So this is a plus, okay? So this is three. Now, this is where you want to be really careful. This is where an equation is different from an inequality. 
Anytime you divide by a negative, the order of the inequality flips or switches. This is a less than. After dividing by negative 32, it becomes greater. Okay? So that's our solution. Now let's go ahead and graph our solution on a number line. It's any number that's greater than 3. Okay, so um, this is our number line. This is zero. We have one, two, three. Now, do we have an open or a closed circle here? Since there is no line underneath our inequality, we have an open circle. No line means exclude that number from your solution region. Okay, so that's excluded, and we'll point in the greater direction, which is to the right. And that is, x is greater than positive 3. All right, so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to visit our website at mathgotserve.com for access to other cool tutorials such as this. You can also subscribe to our channel for updates to other um, videos. And if you have any questions about this lesson or would like to request other tutorials, feel free to indicate that in the comments section 